Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Chess Kids. Today I'll show you the game played by Alexei and Pavel. And this beautiful game complete in only 17 moves. And let's see how the game plays. The game starts with the pawn to d4. Knight f6, c4. And this move, the white is trying to control the center of the board with the Queen Indians, a classical variation. So, the black move e6, and now the white continues to play Knight f3. Then, d5 was played, and this pawn trying to attack the pawn and to break down the white pawn structure then the white just play e3 and this bishop will able to capture back the pawn if the black capture the c4 pawn and here you give white a better position then the black play b6 and now the knight b to d2 trying to develop the pieces after this bishop d6 was played and this is the first five move and you can see the position is equal then the white continue to play and develop the bishop bishop to d3 and this allowed the black to go for a short castling. So after this, the black go for a short castling and the white go for a short castling. And here, the black move c5, trying to develop the pawn towards the center. Then b3 was split, and then knight c6. The black continue to develop the pieces, and the white may bishop to b2 then queen to c7 and now the rook trying to push to rook c1 to the c5 and bishop b7 and this allow the both rook at the rank head to be connected so this is the first 10 move and the white is better in this position. After this, the white play C takes D5. And this capture with the pawn allowed the bishop at B2 to become active and able to capture the knight and control the diagonal a1 h8 so in the actual game c takes d5 was played first after this the knight takes d5 then the d take c5 and this pawn is attacking the bishop and allow the bishop to open and attack the pawn at g7. Bishop takes c5 was played and here you have the both bishop actively control both of the diagonal and after this move the white played an amazing move by sacrificing the bishop and this idea of sacrifice is typically called a Greek gift. So after this, and and check the king. The king takes the bishop. After this, the knight continue to go to g5 and check the king and at this move the best move you can see here is king g6 
and this will be a very great move and let's see if you move the king to g8 then the white will continue to play a queen to h5 and will meet at h7 and checkmate the king so for example if the queen move to h5 then you will try to move out the rook such as rook f to d8 and after this the queen can go to h7 and check and if the king move to f8 then now you can just continue use the bishop and capture the pawn and check after this the king can go to e8 and after this you can have a knight d to e4 and here you continue to attack knight d to e4 and if you make any move such as uh, a6 then you can just use the rook to capture the bishop and after capture now the knight can just capture the pawn after this you have the idea of playing queen to g8 check then capture the pawn and will be a checkmate so for example if you move a bishop or you move the pawn example move to like uh, a5 then you have a mid in three with the queen check and the king come up to e7 then queen capture the pawn at f7 check and king to d6 then you have a knight g to e4 checkmate or you use the knight c to e4 and this will be a checkmate and the queen is controlling the square so basically the idea of this knight is trying to checkmate the king H8, then you have a queen to h5 and check the king. So queen to h5, check the king, and if the king goes to g8, then you have a queen to h7 and check mate. And back to this position, if the king move to h6. Then you have a rook to c4 and you able to check the king at h5 and check the king. For example, if you make a rook to c4 and if you push a pawn such as a h6, then the idea will be rook to h4 check the king. And this king cannot be go back because the knight is control the square and the bishop is control this square. So after this move, if the king goes to g6, then queen will go to h5 and continue check the king. And after the king goes to f5, and here you have a few move to play you can just use the pawn to e4 and check the king or you just play pawn to g4 and check the king
So after night to G5 and check the king. The only way to save the king would be king to G6. And this idea of red give is bringing the black king towards the center of the board and attack the king. After this, queen C2 was played and continue to check the king and giving up another piece and giving up and sacrifice the knight and in the actual game if you capture the knight then you will be giving up and white will be winning and mid in it so in the actual game the king take the knight and here the white is winning so the correct move at this position is to play a f5 then the king will be safe and after this the knight just capture the pawn and have a fork so the queen will just move to f8 f7 or e7 for example if the queen move to e7 then the knight just capture <coughs> and check and now the rook <coughs> and this you will see that the action will be the knight bishop for a rook and the two pawn in the actual game after this move the king just captured the knight and the white is completely winning and made in it i give a couple of seconds to figure out how the continuation of the white and Well, congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show, here are the beautiful next move from the white to play that is a queen to fetch seven and this limit the king to escape in the middle of the board. And here you have the bishop to control the f6 file. Then the white will continue to launch the attack. win and mid in the next seven move and after this move e5 was split from the black then the white continue to play with the knight attack knight to e4 and check the king and still control the f6 file knight e4 and check the king after this move, you can see that the king is have a very limited place to move and the only place to move is king g4. So after this move, the black will resign the game at move 17. And if you want to continue the game, the king move to g4. Then you can see that this knight is control the square, queen is control the square. The pawn is control the square and also the square and all the pawn is control the square and this queen also control the square basically the king has no place to move and the simple move will be a pawn to h3 and checkmate the king so you have a very nice checkmate for the king in the center of the square And back to this position and if you want to continue with the game you can move a uh, queen f4 sacrifice so the pawn will just capture and now the knight capture then again the knight will just continue to check and after king to g4 then you have a pawn h3 check 
Then after <coughs> check, you have a queen capture and check. And after king move to f4, then you have a queen to f3 checkmate. So regardless how you're going to play at this position, the best move will be a queen h7 and you're going to meet in it and this beautiful move prevent the king to escape in the middle of the board and this typical type of checkmate we call it as a grip gift and with this thank you